In step one on page 9-3, we're going to connect our ribs to the spar. And there will be four ribs on the entire spar. We will find also that we have our spacer clecoed into place at the prescribed location. And this will be in four places. One will be at each end, and then two in the middle. With these four ribs in clecoed in place, we're going to add the opposite spar cap to the bottom. And this is essentially a mirror image. And remember, the countersunk side that we prepared must be facing out or away from the ribs. And we'll simply place this on top in the exact same location. And here we have the other spar cap clecoed in place. And it simply looks like a mirror image of the first side that we put on. Step two then is to use the appropriate rivets and rivet these in place, the ribs and the spar cap spacers. On a related note, it's very important to get these square ribs aligned properly so that they are not turned 180 degrees, which is very easy to do. One sanity check prior to riveting is to look down the hole and they must, you must be able to see all the way to the other end perfectly. And if you have one of the ribs misaligned, you will find that you cannot see straight down one side is wider than the other side. Because we're ready now to install our rib assembly into the spars. Now here's our main front spar and as far as its position we want to keep track of where the close holes are as opposed to the holes that are further apart as they will match on the flange when we're installing this and also the holes on the rib flanges these will span across the very center of the spar so it is easy to see where this will fit